so welcome back to the vlog and welcome to here in Copenhagen for the start of the SCS Grand Depart Tour de France. Uh, a few stages in Denmark, hence why I've flown out here early. Once again, working with Velon, the same company I worked for last year, doing the GoPro on bike editing each evening after every stage behind my laptop at the finish zone. So really, really excited to get stuck in to another three weeks of that and do another lap of France. But before that, I've got a day or two here to explore Copenhagen. And this year, very excitingly, I've been able to bring my bike. So on the way to Denmark this morning, I had a bit of a disaster. I managed to pack my multi-tool within my hand luggage, which is obviously not allowed. It's a tool that's not allowed on the aeroplane, on your hand luggage. So just been out for a little walk around town, found this really, really cool bike shop called AH Cycles, I believe. And they've given me this absolute bargain on a design multi-tool. So shout out to those guys. So as you can see, we've been absolutely blessed these couple of days with beautiful, beautiful sunshine. Hopefully it sticks around for the Grand Depart and the time trial on Friday. Been able to pick up my accreditation so I can get about, no problem, get into all the areas. And now the wait begins until the race starts. I've had some time to explore Copenhagen and let me tell you, it's really, really stunning, like unbelievably beautiful. And there's an excitement in the air, I think this city, having missed out on hosting this race last year, really, really excited for this one. presentation today. Really excited personally that Tom Pickcock is riding his first ever Tour de France with Team Ineos. Obviously a huge race for anyone but really telling that Ineos have trusted him. This is the hotel I'm staying at. You can see at the bottom all of the trucks and, and campers that give out all of the freebies as part of the caravan. So good morning and welcome back to Copenhagen. It is today, the 1st of July, which means one thing, stage one, and the grand part of the Tour de France is finally here. We've woken up to a very overcast day, which threatens rain. Of course, for the time trial, we're gonna have rain. It's been absolutely stunning for the last three days. I spoke to a local yesterday. He said, you're very lucky. It's not always like this. So Copenhagen really brought its A card for, <laughs> for the days for at least the days leading up to the tour and hopefully the rain holds off for what's going to be a very short and sharp 13 kilometers going to be made very very interesting if it's pouring with rain i can imagine quite slippery this is the bike path that i'm on currently right next to the canal i guess copenhagen's over there i'm very very lucky the first guy i don't think rolls off the start ramp until 4 p.m which gives me a couple of hours to get on the bike this morning and i saw Wout van Aert whilst he's been here the last couple of days went out on this little bike ride on this little island just southeast of Copenhagen. It's where the actual airport sits. And he called this little ride Bike Path, Bike Path Heaven, I think it was. So I thought I'd go and give that loop a little try and see what he was going on about. So far, so good. Look at this. <laughs> I knew there was a reason to bring my gravel bike. There are some stunning stunning little gravel paths and on that note let me show you something that I saw yesterday which is so so cool right in the heart of Copenhagen they call it the bicycle snake it's dedicated to bicycles it's the most stunning little bridge that basically goes over the river and it is constantly constantly flowing with traffic Seemed 
to settle down tonight But I don't feel like sleeping So I thought whilst I was on this little loop of Copenhagen here I may as well take in a bit of the circuit I'm actually on the course now I've ridden a couple of kilometres and it's really really twisty it takes in some cycle lanes so for this year's Tour de France, just like last year, I'm on the onboard, so the GoPro editing team, which is just three of us, and we are part of a wider production group who manage all of the editing for the home broadcaster, which includes the highlights and all the little social media edits and all the roundups. So we actually have commentators, Andrew McCrossan, and this year, Nicholas Roach as part of our team that we travel with. And we, a group of about 20, are just a very, very small part of the whole bigger picture of the finishing team who are at the stage finish each day which is obviously just a small part of the whole operation of the Tour de France and it is quite something to be just a small part of it. So found myself back on the course everyone's drawing their favorite riders names onto the tarmac and chalk which is pretty cool but yeah if you guys did have any questions specifically about what I'm up to or any further questions about the Tour de France or anything for that matter, write them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Just enough to keep you down. There's an echo in the I'm So of course the last three days have been beautiful sunshine. The second the Tour de France starts, the heavens open. Oh, Sally, it's on It was Steven Bissigo who was off one of the first and came down pretty hard, ending his hopes at the yellow jersey and then followed the favourites for the stage in Ghana, Podjica and Wout Van Aert, who all finished within three seconds of each other in a really, really tight finish. This was our hotel last night. This was our view for breakfast. Rated the best hotel chain in Denmark or as far as their website says anyway that's where we stayed last night we got there very late it was a late finish after stage one we got there at 2 a.m. had a sleep ready to go here in Nyborg all over again for stage two actions already started here fans are out and here we go the final 500 meters are basically downhill which is interesting not the best for a sprint finish. So welcome back to Denmark and specifically this little town or city of Sonderberg. The host of stage three. Yesterday, Wout van Aert went into the yellow jersey after securing a second place behind Fabio Jakobsen. We were expecting some drama being the first row stage of this year's tour, and we got it. There was a few crashes. Luckily, none that meant any of the GC contenders lost any time on the day. But we're back for stage three. Very similar stage to yesterday, slightly shorter, slightly hillier. Today is the last day in Denmark. Tomorrow is a rest stage, uh, or a rest day, which means uh, which allows, us, which allows us to travel right the way across from here in Denmark all the way down back into France. It's a long way. Anyway, making my way over to the truck on the other side of town. Hopefully I can edit this video, maybe get it live just as the stage finishes today. But, and with that three amazing, amazing days in Denmark, shout out to all the fans who lined the roads and made this grand apart exactly what it was. See you on the next one. Ciao.